Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Flavorful Summer of Steam 2021. Today we're learning about engineering by building a solar oven. First, let's look at some of the materials that you will need. You will need plastic wrap, but this is optional. You'll also need some tape, some chocolate or other meltable item, some foil, and some creativity. You also might want some sunscreen, especially if you're doing this outside. Now let's get started designing and building our solar ovens. My research assistant Mia will be helping again with today's video. Start by grabbing a square of tin foil. Then place it down with the shiny side up. Next up, maneuver the tin foil into a box shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we recommend folding down each of the sides, like so, and then pinching the corner to make sort of a box shape. Once you have a box ready to go, place the chocolate onto the middle of the tin foil. Chocolate also makes a really good snack. Our next step is optional, but you can choose to cover your box with plastic wrap. Another optional step is to add a reflective shield to the top of your box like so. Take a piece of tin foil, wrap it around, and tape on either side. Now that we have our little solar oven, the next step is to leave them out in the sun. I created this one that doesn't have the plastic wrap, and here's Neo's. You can add as many features as you want to your box, but be careful. By adding more features, you might end up blocking light from getting into your chocolate. As you can see here, my chocolate melted pretty well. But Neo's chocolate, on the other hand, was rock solid even after waiting 15 minutes outside. Our hypothesis is that the extra tin foil created a little bit of a shield that prevented the light from reaching the chocolate. I repeated this experiment, placing one chocolate on a plain piece of tin foil and one in one of the boxes we created. After waiting 15 minutes again, the one on the reflective piece of tin foil melted more than the one in the box. Maybe if I hadn't crumpled up the box tin foil so much, it would have worked better. All the chocolates seem to have melted differently, but they were all put out at the same time of day in around the same temperature. Now let's explore how the different conditions are changing how the chocolate melts. First off, let's review how the sun makes heat in the first place. Within the sun, there are reactions called fusion reactions that are generating radiation. When these rays of radiation reach the earth, we consider it heat. Now let's look at how the different boxes might have been affecting this experiment. So say we have our condition where we have one piece of chocolate on a reflective tin foil and one that's just out on the counter. When the radiation from the sun hits the chocolate on the right, it absorbs it and melts a little bit. However, when radiation hits the chocolate on the left, it not only gets absorbed by the chocolate, it also gets reflected back up through the reflective shield and hits the chocolate yet again. This can lead to the chocolate getting even hotter and melting more. So now that we know this, how do we create the perfect solar oven? The answer is trial and error. As we just learned, maybe the more reflective the surface of the tinfoil, the more it will melt. So maybe I shouldn't have crumpled up my box so much. Alternatively, maybe adding that top shield is a good idea, as it allows for more sun reflection. However, it might also create a shadow, blocking some of the sun's rays from reaching the chocolate. Finally, was the plastic wrap that Neo added preventing some of the sun rays from reaching the chocolate? Engineering and coming up with solutions to problems is all about trial and error. So I challenge all of you to try and create your own solar ovens and let me know in the comments below what the best method was. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of the Flavorful Summer of Steam 2021. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos. The Flavorful Summer of Steam is a partnership between Flavorful Science and Sci-Files and was made possible thanks to funding and support by Rising Youth Canada.